Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative. Speaking of Mackenzie Mossmo, let us in, which is going to be on demand on digital July 2nd. Welcome to the show. Well, welcome back to the show. It's good to see yeah. you. Thank you for having me. It's uh, it's interesting. Last time you were on the show, we talked about the unicorn. This is a little different, a little darker, a lot more intense. What was it like working on a film like this? Let us in. It was so much fun. I had a lot of fun working with all the cast, and I had a great time. Um, you know, people asked me if it was scary to work on the set, which it wasn't. It was really fun. Um, it was during the summer, so you know, it was like summer break you know super exciting and it was just really fun absolutely did you know when you were kind of reading the script or were you were preparing for the role that it was kind of this film that had a lot going on it was like sci-fi it was thriller it was horror like there is a lot happening in the movie did you know that when you were reading the script yes i did it was i mean there was a lot of like gory parts um to the movie um and i was very excited to shoot it because i've never done anything quite like this before and, you know, it was just something different and exciting, and I was really into it. Was that a genre that you were hoping you were going to work in, like the horror thriller genre? Yeah, for sure. I'm really, um, I'm such a fan of, like, horror and sci-fi movies, so I thought it'd be really exciting to be in one. What was the learning experience like for something like this, where, you know, you don't, you might not think of it when you're kind of working, but... There is so much happening and you're kind of working in kind of multiple genres in one project. So what were the learning experiences like for you on this project? Um, I definitely learned how to get out of my comfort zone when it comes to filming scarier films. Um, Because working on a comedy TV series is kind of all I do. And then I, you know, I learned how to improv and stuff. But doing it on a set like this, um, I learned a lot of new acting skills that I wouldn't have if I didn't do this film. Absolutely. You know, you're acting in this. I think I asked you this last time too, but uh, you're focusing on acting. There's a lot of writing, directing, and producing that happens with a lot of actors out there right now. Do you want to maybe go behind the camera one day or are you just focusing on acting right now? No, for sure. I'd love to do that because my dad is um, a director and writer and producer and he also wrote and directed this film mm -hmm. um which is very exciting so seeing him do that makes me want to do it even more oh, that's awesome I yeah that is really yeah. cool so what was that what was that whole dynamic like i loved it i felt very comfortable shooting with him and you know because he's my dad it felt like i was at home and it was easy from the kind of work standpoint was there any kind of advice that he gave you about certain shots or was that really like anything anything like that specifically about working on this film that he kind of taught you yeah i got to look at um I got to look at the 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 scenes after we uh, started filming or once the scene was over, I got to see the playback, which is very fun. And I got to, you know, see the stuff that I wanted to change about it. And I kind of got to um, choose like, you know, which scene I wanted, which is great for an actor because they usually never get a say in whichever scene they choose. But I did, which is very cool, um, yeah. you know. Oh, absolutely. People are going to be able to see this July 2nd on, on demand and on digital. Um, but, but without kind of spoilers, can you tell us a little bit about what to expect from the film and about your character? Yes, there's, um, you know, a couple jump scares and it's, um, it's a very fun family adventure movie who follows um, the protagonist character, who's my character, Emily. And she's in kind of a small town, and it's based off of the urban legend of the Black Eyed Kids, which are these aliens that abduct teenagers. And then she notices that some of her friends start to go missing. And she kind of does some research, and at the end of the day, kind of becomes a hero. Absolutely. Did you have to do, did Mackenzie Moss have to do some research on like sci-fi and alien films? Or did you have yourself kind of look, watching those before you worked on this? Yeah, for sure. Since the movie was based off of an urban legend, I got to do some research onto all these different websites and I got to see because people like say that they have been abducted by these people. You know, it's like you never really know, but I think it's very interesting. And I was very interested in the topic once my dad presented it to me. Absolutely. What do you think is your favorite thing about acting and storytelling? Is there something you like about it that kind of is like beats all the other things about it. I mean, there's a lot of things, but is there one thing that you could talk about that you love the most while being a storyteller and an actor? Yeah, for sure. It's because you could be yourself, but in a whole nother like alternate universe, you know what I mean? Because I get to play um, any person that I want to be, but 
you know, without actually having to live life like that. You know what I mean? Like I could be a completely different person, but still be me. So I could, um, with different roles, I try to incorporate myself into them. So then it'll, you know, come across more natural, but it's very cool because when you're into it, it feels like you are that person. And then when it's on camera, it really, really shows. What was your mindset like after you, so like when a movie wraps post-production everything, but you're, you're, you're kind of, your, your stuff's kind of done. So you're, you're kind of done and you're waiting for post-production everything. What's your mindset when you're done that film? Do you kind of. Like, was it an emotional experience where you wanted to take some time off and like take it easy for a little bit? Or were you kind of like, no, like, let's go make another movie. Let's go. Like, what was what was it like after you wrapped that movie? I kind of got to be a, uh, a part of the post-production. Ooh, yeah. So I kind of, my dad um, kind of got my opinion on, like, which, um, like, what editing looks better for the film. Like, what color palettes, which was very cool. Um, and I also like the ADR and stuff. So it was like still happening, um, even with post-production, it's still in production. So it, it still felt like the movie was going on to me because my dad was involved with it. Um, but I was, um, after I filmed Let Us In, I shot season um, two of The Unicorn. So it was kind of like I had to go on to the next thing, but I was still involved in Let Us In. Um, but I, you know, I was, I was doing both. Were you hoping that you were going to be able to work on like different projects like you mentioned unicorn let us in these are two completely different projects were you hoping that was going to be the case that you were going to be able to work on different projects yeah i love working on two totally opposite projects because you know you got to do two totally different things at once which is very cool and then watching them it's like the you know the difference is crazy like watching let us in compared to watching the unicorn it's like a whole nother <laughs> so a whole nother thing so but it's really cool seeing me do both um I mean, it's interesting. So the film's not out yet, but people got to see kind of the trailer and they kind of can see what it kind of looks like. What's that reception been like from your family and friends with the Let Us In trailer? Oh, yeah. So yesterday was a screening, actually, for like yeah. the cast and crew. And I took two of my best friends and they actually really enjoyed it. And they, um, they um, there was like one jump scare and they actually got scared for a second. But they, <laughs> you know, getting like good feedback is always great. Um, always from like my family friends, too. And, you know, my family, they're all so supportive, which is great. And my friends, too, I have a great support system. So I'm very lucky. Absolutely. When people watch this film, what are you hoping they get out of it? Just like kind of to enjoy themselves, of course. But like more than that, like what are you hoping takeaways are when they watch this film? Definitely some sort of confidence because for my character, she's very confident. And, you know, she's not scared of anything. She doesn't she doesn't take anything from anyone. Um, so definitely some of you know, Emily's character, I mean, from watching her save the day, I guess. Um, it, I mean, it took, it takes effect on people, you know, like, oh my God, that's really cool. I kind of want to do that now. And, you know, you feel some sort of empowerment after watching movies like that. So I hope that happens for kids um, around that age. hundred percent. What was it? This, this movie also has an amazing cast. What was it like working with that cast for this film? Everyone was great. Everyone was so sweet. I loved working with everyone on set. O'Neal, the cutest kid. He was so fun to be around, you know. And also Sadie Stanley, who's the sweetest. She's the best to work with. I love working with her. She's so sweet. And I had a lot of fun with her on and off set. Like, we are friends, and I love hanging out with her. Um, Sienna Agdong, Mackenzie Ziegler, Seneca, like, all of those girls are so nice. And Tobin Bell was so amazing to work with. Um, everyone was great. I'm very lucky that I've... I've ever since I was young, I've always worked with such a great cast. You know, I've never had any bad experiences, which is very lucky. Um, and also doesn't happen a lot. So, so you said that you were interested. You liked horror movies and, and that culture. Do you know, like, from your the cast and crew that you worked on, did a lot of people were they in the same boat as you? Did they also like horror? Like, did you kind of show people some horror movies? Like, what was that like? Did everyone kind of enjoy horror, as far as you know? Yeah, I I think everyone did enjoy the concept of the movie and you know if they didn't i don't know if it would be a part of it you know what i mean because usually if yeah. you want to work on something you want to watch but um the crew they've all worked on horror movies like that but some of them also worked with my dad which is very fun so it's kind of like a little reunion because you know i've been with them since i was little because i was always on the set of my dad's films um and they watched me grow up which is so cool no, absolutely. Thank you so much for coming back on Pop Alternative. This was it was great to to talk to you about Let Us In. Seriously, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, absolutely. So the movie's gonna be out July second on demand and digital, so they're gonna be able to check it out then. And uh, where can people follow you on social media to keep up to date with everything? 
yeah, my Instagram is Mackenzie Moss, M-A-K-E-N-Z-I-E, M-O-S-S. Yeah. Um, that's my Instagram. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, this has been Pop Turn of YouTube.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes. You're going to be able to catch Mackenzie Moss and Let Us In, which is going to be available July 2nd on demand and digital. Until next time, this is Mackenzie Moss and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.